hey hello friends uh, welcome back to my channel today i am going to discuss another interesting topic whether we should go for wrapper class or we should go for java primitive data types so first of all i am letting you know that string is not a data type or not a wrapper class it's a special class although it's a immutable okay and all the wrapper class if you all the wrapper class are final that is immutable you cannot extend it but java has given the flexibility to use the primitive data types so if you are talking about long float care in all those are a, you can say it's a primitive data type apart from this java has given that wrapper classes so my question is in order to writing yeah a pojo classes or dto classes or bin classes whether you should consider the wrapper classes or normal java data type so that is the information we will explore so let's start our basic things so first of all you uh, you can see this is my customer class so i want to save one customer data in my server so i need one pojo classes and also i need a dto classes so dto classes is nothing but a data transfer object okay already i have discussed in my earlier tutorial right so here i have mentions long so this is it's a data type not a wrapper class if i mentions l as a class it would be a wrapper class right so why java has given data type primitive data type so main reason is so that if you perform any operations on primitive data type it doesn't take too much memory space and its operations is faster because it it is not going to create any object in that heap area okay because it's a primitive data type defined by the java itself so my suggestion is if you are considering your pojo classes and your dto classes always you should go for this primitive data types i am not talking about to in order to save customer name customer email id yes that time you, you will use that string that is not comes under the discussions point right but if you want to save any customer id let's say if you want to save any customer mobile number whether you should go for integer wrapper class or int particular uh, data type so that time wrapper class you know as it is a class so it will create a object in the heap area point number 1 so as it will create the object heap area so it will take much space in the heap memory and apart from this it will consume and it will store all the informations of the classes so you can think from the memory perspective so it will take huge amount of memory right so based on your application's performance and your availability of the memory you will think whether you should go for wrapper classes or you should go for primitive data types so now i i want to show you one particular picture so that i have given from uh, jvis one tool is there so they have actually find, try to find out the application's performance so i talked about the memory space now the performance so you can see those are the wrapper classes float double okay so this in those are the wrapper classes if you compare with the normal data type its computation time is always higher than any others wrapper classes so if you talk about any of the primitive data type always it is lower than the respective wrapper classes so that is mean you can understand like if you are taking primitive data types so always it will give a faster performance in terms of your memory in terms of your uh, execution speed now you can ask me then why java has given wrapper classes right yes there might be some reason so one reason i want to explore you 
you know the collections API. So in collections API, whenever we will do any operations, let's say uh, I want to take list, okay, list of uh, integer. So that time what you actually mentions in inside the, there, so you have to mention the wrapper classes, right? not primitive data types because collections always works on the object instead of this primitive data type so that time if you are taking let's say integer this customer id and then you are actually trying to add this id with this integer so this is wrong so you have to take this integer so that time automatically this conversion conversions will be happen from integer primitive to this integer wrapper classes so the point is here, so in your applications, frequent operations will be done through the collections API, okay. So all the operations is collections API, so then that time you can consider instead of taking this normal Java primitive data type, you can take actually this wrapper classes, that would be helpful. because you want to save one customer data in the collections. All of your operations is related to collections. So what will happen if you take the primitive data type here? Now you are trying to insert with a list here, list dot add something here. If you want to try to add this one, then always what will happen? This long, this primitive data type will convert into that respective wrapper class and then it will store in that collections framework right so another conversations time is needed so basically your performance will degrade for this scenario so in that scenario if you consider the variable should be wrapper class then there is a no need of conversations because all it's collections is only works on wrapper class so if you put this uh, list dot add this a uh, customer id as it's a wrapper class so you don't need to convert it from the primitive data type to wrapper class so this is the scenarios where you can consider uh, like you can choose for the wrapper class but for the normal pojo classes or any dto classes i'll suggest to use that primitive data type another point i want to tell you uh, based on your applications suppose your applications needs uh, some uh, null value or default uh, zero value so that time you can think whether you can choose for wrapper classes or primitive data type so normally if you take any integer wrapper classes so default value should be null okay if you want like your applications should uh, uh, handle the default null value then that time you can consider also wrapper classes but if you consider like your application should be handled default value zero uh, then that time you can think the primitive data type and one things if you i mean initialize any wrapper class with a default value so there is a extra overhead for null pointer exceptions if you not mentions anything while passing the object so that time you will get a null pointer exceptions because you are using that wrapper classes and you didn't mention any values so there is a lots of cons and cons is there so point number one make sure like if you want to perform your if you want to think about the memory performance uh, your application should not be using too much uh, collections API then you can go for this primitive data types and if your applications is um, needed much uh, collections operation so that time you can actually choose for the wrapper classes and also last point as I said like for default value how you want to uh, manipulate throughout your applications hope your understanding has been clear still if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment sections i'll always happy to give your answer and thanks for watching my video if you are new i'll suggest subscribe my channel to get always the updated video thanks for watching my video bye